Hey guys, what's up? Just gonna make a quick one today. Um, thought we'd play a game against the, the Maya bot on Lee Chess. Uh, I fancy doing one unrated, a bit tired, but we're off to the beach, a couple of hours drive. And um, to get to it, you have to go to leechess.org slash at sign slash Maya1, M-A-I-A-1. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the web address to go to, and then you click the I think the, the cross swords challenge to a game. Okay, um, oh, minutes per side. I don't know. We'll we'll go unlimited, unlimited and random, and oh, uh, I am <laughs> computer says no. Right, let's do it again. Maya one, and we will go real time five plus three. Sod it, let's do it. Right, okay. I have white, and we are off. And we have a Scandinavian. I'm going to play my normal repertoire. So the idea with um, huh? Well, that's not very good. The idea with Maya is that Maya is supposedly based on analysis from a whole load of games. So I think knight here to prevent the queen coming there. This is defended, this is now defended twice. And Maya has given me the center. Okay, this is a thought to add more defense. I don't have to add more defense. So actually bishop out here pinning the knight could be more aggressive than that, okay. They've um, returned the compliment. I'm happy to castle here, get my rook on the semi-open f-file, and if takes, I'll recapture the b-pawn, and I've got this kind of corner center, which I'm fairly comfortable with. Um, hmm. Yeah, so apparently Maya will play more like a human than your usual bot, which is just programmed to know the best moves and then choose not to play them a lot of the time. So if I attack this knight, it's now pinned on queen and king. Pawn takes, pawn takes, surely you lose the knight. So here it's saying that in Leech's money, Maya is rated about 1400, which is about 1100 in chess.com terms. So yeah, this, <clears throat> okay, so this is an interesting tactic here. Um, I'm attacking Maya's knight. Maya is then counter attacking my bishop. But it doesn't work, because if I take the knight, I'm then continuation attacking queen and king. Okay, so I can capture the knight here. I also have the option of throwing in a check with queen or rook, but you have to say, well, is there an, actually anything gained by that? I don't know. So I think we just grab the knight. If the queen moves away, I can capture here. Okay, that's interesting. So... Maya's decided to trade queens. Ah, and then win this. And now I can win the pawn. That was really interesting, actually. That was really interesting. Okay, I've got bishop looking at that, it's undefended. I can throw in a check, I can throw in this. This is also fairly useful. So for example, if oh, I can't do that now. I will throw in the check now. Knight can block the check, that's probably the best move, yeah. I can now attack the knight though. Also notice that black can't castle here. Um, <clears throat> if I take this pawn, the rook's just going to slide over. But I don't really want black to take my pawn and have the extra pawn, so there we go. So how are we doing material-wise? We are equal. But the difference is I have a safer king. My king is at least behind a couple of pawns. Maya's king is not. Now, hanging on to this pawn I don't think is feasible, but I also have another one under attack here. I can hit the bishop and also threaten this square, which attacks both rook and knight. And the knight, oh, by the way, but that blocks the, that breaks the pin, but I do have a rook fork. That's compensation, there we go. Well, let's do that then. King takes or or nobody takes. Well, that's a thought. So I get the bishop. And now I'm going to be up a full rook, aren't I? Okay. 
So now, this is all about the win. I'm actually up an entire rook. Where does my bishop want to go? That's the key question. I'd like to drop my rook onto the back rank. I think I just, basically, I need to double up my rooks. That's, that's my basic idea. Now, if I attack the knight, Maya has b4 to defend. I may then just trade off, actually. So if I want to go here or here, I think probably here, attacking the knight. <coughs> <coughs> right. Right. Now I want to double up my rooks on one of these open files. Um, shall we hit the knight again? Woody, stop it. Hit the knight again. Okay, that forks the two pawns. Um, Come over here, it takes my pawn. I come up here. I just want to double up at all costs, really. I'm not, not even concerned about pawns too much. I don't really want to play that either, because it kind of gets in the way of my bishop. I suppose I can play this one. Oh, but then after it takes this, I've got, I need to move that rook, because it's under attack. Okay, let's move that rook to the seventh. Rooks on seventh is very good. Now I can double up on the file, or I can put both on seventh. That is another idea. Question is, is my king safe enough? Because if after I do this, you see, I can just let's do this idea because it's um, it's very good. As James calls it, pigs on seventh. Don't know why. Okay, now I take this pawn. I defend this pawn. This is good, and now I can force a trade, which is actually winning. Okay, so if I put my rook here, this rook's then pinned, and if it takes, I recapture with a queen, and win the knight, and go on to win the game. Very interesting. But the key thing here is, does this feel like you're playing a human? And to be honest, it does. It does feel more human. Okay, you can move pawns, that's fine. It does feel more human than like the chess.com box. Definitely. Go here, I might come up here and threaten queen to come in. If there, I can actually take, because it would leave this pawn pinned. Okay, and that's mate. There we go. Interesting stuff. Let's do a rematch, quick one. Let's go with the black pieces, okay. Let's see what Maya's got here. It'd be really interesting if... Whoa! This I do not know. Okay, I'm just going to go with what I would normally play. Okay, so this is transposed into some weird-ass opening. Hmm. We hit the knight. Okay. And win it. Okay. So we're up a piece already. Oh, a piece for two pawns, it's not exactly a massive advantage. Uh, knight here is thought, because the, actually the bishop could come in. Um, yeah, I think knight there makes sense. Okay, bishop to the Italian position. Lined up with king. Um, I also need to watch out for rookie one check. Knight in here immediately threatens the bishop and also means that the queen has to protect that square because that rook would be um, in, unable to move. Bishop e7 is still a thought. But I think... Let's go with that. We might throw in the check, in which case I can block with the knight or the bishop. Let's block with the knight. Oof. Do I want to do that? I just want to move the king out of the way. I could just go like king f7. Yeah, I don't really fancy I'm developing my pieces, so. Okay. 
Maya has decided to swap C, and this pawn's undefended. I'm inclined to take the D pawn, just open up the center, centralize rooks. Uh, let's grab that. Or should we do this and threaten to come in? That looks kind of evil. I like evil. Ha! Huh. Okay, but now this, eh? It's defended by the knight and the king, which is important. If the knight wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to do that. And that's checkmate. Well, well, well. There we go. Interesting, guys. I, I really do think um, if you're around, the, you know, the thousand level, the the uh, Leeches Meyer bot is definitely worth doing. Uh, if you go um, here, play with a computer. I don't know if there's a way because what this is is fairy stockfish. Now, fairy, fairy stockfish is also based on <clears throat> some analysis of games, I think. But Maya is like a, a more experimental one, I believe. Um, so yeah, I haven't really compared the two like head to head, but um, but I think you, you actually have to hunt Maya down. You actually have to go to the address to to find it and then issue a challenge, and that's how you do it. But definitely, definitely a more interesting bot than than the ones on Chess.com, in my personal view. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later.